Welcome, COE, other, other words, Clash of Empires. This is 300 from Kingdom 2. I'm here today going to make a video for Treasure Trials. Because I know a lot of people don't really know how to do it. Or they're kind of in the dark or kind of like, it took me a minute. Like, I'm hoping today I get first place. So I got a 50% march inside this increase and I'm going to try it out because so far I've got 872 and I have a lot less stats than that dude because he has like 200 infantry health defense and all that crazy stuff because he's spending money on glory flags but kudos for him but it's not going to mean nothing because I don't know about you guys and your guys' realm if you guys have a rogue alliance uh PZU is our rogue alliance. They want to do what they want for a while. They're like, oh, we don't attack if it's not kill event. And, oh, we only attack if we've been attacked. And now they're just doing it whenever. Like they just attacked Beowulf, which is a castle 28 yesterday. And pretty much killed off his troops. And I think he quit. And I don't see the point because he didn't have no resources. So why in the heck attack when it's not kill event? They're just... I don't know. I think they got dropped on their heads or something when they were kids. I'm not trying to be a dick or nothing, but they're making people quit. And it's it's annoying. They're attacking people's magic minds. I have to go and join different alliances to reinforce their magic mind to help them get their resources so they don't come in and take attack and steal all their resources. It's just it's really dumb. I wish uh, Clash of Empires would help me out a little so I can increase my might and actually do something with these guys because they wouldn't be so far right now in the game if they didn't cheat and got all these free resources to work on their research, get Castle 30, and I've been spending probably... I don't even want to know how much I spent. It's It's crazy, but... Yeah, but other than that, let's get down to it. So, when you do treasure trials, you want to have your attack line, you want to have your buffs equipped, and hopefully COE adds a health buff. There's no point in just having attack and defense. But if you are a castle 22 and you're watching this, <clears throat> and you got tier 8s, um, firstly, before I get to that point, it, Depending on what your march size is, you want to get, even with buffs on, I, I would recommend getting your march size to at least over 200,000 because you need to be able to send a lot of troops because like say on stage 6-8 that I'm currently on, it has 321,000 troops. And if you're only sending 150, 180,000, you're really not going to do much. And then you also want to work on your stats. Um, if you can, I wouldn't. I don't really see the point. Yeah, you could buy glory flags and increase your stats by a lot real quick. But why would you want to do that when you could just attack camps and monsters and get free glory flags? Yeah, it's going to take a little longer, but it's going to save you money in the long run. Because I spent 185 on glory flags, and that's it. And as you could tell... I have a lot of my stuff somewhat high level, and I've just been attacking camps to get glory flags. Like, I just don't see the point in spending the money. Mostly because I can't right now. No, but. Okay, so back to the video. Um, so, if you're tier 8s, if you're Castle 22, 23, 24, 25, and you only have tier 8s, no tier 9s, what you're going to do is when you go to attack the stage. What you want to do, say pretend these are your tier 8 infantry, you want to send about 40,000, 50,000, kind of depending on what your march size is. Not too sure what that beacon is. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had some weird noise going off in my home. But 
All right, so for tier eight infantry, you want to send 40 to 50,000, depending on what your march size is. Since you don't have tier nine infantry yet, you use your tier sevens and you probably send around 60,000, kind of just accordingly. Send your tier eight archers. Kind of like, uh, just kind of mess with a little, try to different sequences, but the main thing you want is your defense troops and your attack troops or your infantry. Those are the two main things you kind of want to get it down point. And then Siege, I want to worry about. Then you want to send some cavalry, depending on what cavalry you have. I think tier 8 is heavy calves. So you could probably send between 15 and 20k. Same thing with the tier 7. Probably around like 13,000. Um, archers, you want to send... So I don't even use those. I usually send about where is my tier nine? I usually send around forty thousand tier nine archers, just kind of help out the defense. But yeah, kind of wish I explained more or had this video posted when I was tier eights. So it's kind of hard. But if you have questions, just hit me up. You can even join my realm and ask me. Um, but that's with tier eights. With tier 9s, you kind of want to do the same thing. Send your tier, tier 8 infantry, send your tier 9 infantry. You want to send quite a few spearmen because they're pretty good damage dealer. They do the most kills. Send your tier 9 archers. Send your tier 8 archers. And then kind of adjust between tier 9 calves and tier 8 calves. You don't need a lot to get to tier 10. But... So that's one way to help, because I think I was, I don't even think I was Castle 26 with Tier 9 before I got to Stage 6-1, I think, I don't remember correctly. I think it was, because, let me see if I could look in the ranking history. Because as you could tell... You got it last time because I can't get to 8-6 eight, eight, yet. But first place for me, first place for me, first place for me, first place, first place. So yeah, that was, this right here was when I was cast 22. I got to 5-8, 351. But so you want, so the main thing is you want your march size, your stats, um, the troops you send depending on what troops you have available. Uh, and also, I came to realization, if you go into your report, because the skill that you have on your line, that gives guard block damage. Like, see when you're attacking, they get a 20, minus 24% guard block damage. Huh. I guess mine does show. Never mind. Because before I was looking at it and didn't even show it. Alright. So, yeah. Interesting. I'm not too sure about some skills. Like, some of the skills don't really make sense. Like, crossbow men damage. I don't know if that's for the traps. Or your crossbow men. Troop types. So I'm not too sure. I should probably get rid of Horse Charger. Let's go and reset that. Do heavy. Because even when I attack or do treasure trials, I really don't send many uh, arch har horse archers. And so far, the heavy calves seem to be doing the work. But, um, uh, so yeah, that's that. And also, in your talents, I think I come to a realization to where, like, yeah, say if you worked on all your health, defense, all that fun stuff, like in this one, I have arch attack, arch defense, health, cav attack, health, infantry attack. Like when you're attacking, you don't use your defense.
So there's really no point in having 10 skills in infantry defense or cavalry defense or whatever, or archer defense, but for some reason, archer defense, except for right here, you have to put it in. So with those extra tile points, you could put it in cavalry attack, siege attack, depending on what you want to do. That's when you're attacking. And when you're defending, I'm thinking because when you defend, you don't use your attack boost. You use your defense boost to attack, to defend with anyways. So then you go through and get rid of all the attack boosts and then focus on your health and your, def and your defense boosts. So like right now, this is my attack setup. My defense ain't high as it would be in my defense setup or my other setup that's just kind of generic. But still gets the job done. But yeah, I know I'm kind of rambling on and stuff like that. Um, still kind of getting used to making videos and eventually I'll get better at it. But that's treasure trials. So the main things is march size, your stats, your troop combo that you send. Because it's best to mix match. I like to say with your cavalry. Just send 13k or something like that. Kind of adjust it accordingly. But the main thing is you want your defense troops tier 8. Until you get tier 10. Then you can send like 30k. So it's been working with me with 30,000 tier 10 infantry. But you want to send your tier 8 infantry. Your either tier 7 spearmen or your tier 9 spearmen. The most out of. And then you want to send about 40,000 archers give or take. And then kind of like send a f little over 10,000 of your weaker troops. Just to kind of get the little mix match in there. Then hopefully that helps you guys at least beat your stage you've been working on or get first place. Ugh. So yeah, that's that. Um, just let me know in the comments what other videos you guys like because I'm kind of working out the kinks myself. I don't want to give away too many secrets because I don't want to help PZU because they don't deserve it. But yeah, I'm just chilling. Got my University of 30. Finally, bought some speed ups. So now I have plenty of speed ups. I just got to get silver and I'm going to start because my main thing I'm working on so I'm going to max out my march size. And it's going to be a while. Like, I got the resources. The only thing I'm lacking is silver. Silver is a pain. So it's quite annoying. But I'll probably do that at a later date. I'm going to be uh, doing, the, doing all these other researches, resource development and defense to try to get my tech core to level 9 and possibly level 10 before I really, because I kind of want the extra 10,000 march size. That'd be nice. But other than that, that's all she wrote. So yeah, um, if you like it, put a like. If you want to know more, send me a comment on YouTube. And I'll be coming up with more videos. I'll probably be making a video for attacking. I'm thinking I'm going to make a kill event video, but this realm's kind of dead. So there's So yeah, um But yeah, that's 300 from Kingdom 2. Slowly building my power up because I don't feel like spending money cuz seems to me this game only cares about money. Can't level up magic mine without buying core slices. I had to spend almost $200 to get those two things. I I don't know. The game needs to work on. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time.